screwing along with Susan. I'm going to be on my computer for this demonstration showing you how I use a free graphic software design application called Inkscape. And I'm going to be creating some block O patterns so I can then take it over to my scroll saw and cut it out. So here we go. Here is my free graphic design software called Inkscape. And I am going to be designing my block O with this so I can change the size of it and make it into a Christmas decoration or a wall hanging or a refrigerator magnet. So over here, I am going to select create stars and polygons. Make sure that it's not stars with polygons is clicked up here. And I want to make this an octagon. So I want eight corners on this. And Inkscape will remember the last color that you used. So you will come over into the blank area, push your left side of the mouse, hold it down, and then you bring your octagon into shape. I'm going to move it over here a little bit so you can see it. I'm holding down my left um, mouse side and releasing in order to have my shape there going up here to the arrow to activate it. You have to make sure that you have it activated in order to make any changes at this point. So I'm going to go up to path and make it object to path. Left click again. I'm going to move it over here so I can use my um, sizes over here, the size here, and to make sure that I'm keeping everything equal shapes coming down to edit path by nodes. I will have eight nodes to work with. So I want these sides to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to stretch the nodes up here. I'm working with a zero. So I'm going to bring these bottom nodes down here to this inch area. Make sure that it's highlighted red, left click, and you can draw, you can pull it down. And notice that I'm also making sure that it's aligned with this top node. Bringing this node down. And I realize there are a bunch of different ways that you can use Inkscape to come up with your final drawing, but this is how I do it. I'm going to, this one is about one, two clicks above this inch area. So I'm going to bring it two clicks below this inch. About right there. And this one will come down here too. Two. And there I have my block O outside. Coming back here, going up to the arrow, I'm going to come up here to object. Beg your pardon. Yep object and fill in stroke. Here's your fill in stroke option. I want to make sure to have stroke paint, excuse me, stroke style so I can have the width of it. And I'm going to click and hold down the button and you can see what's happening. I'm having an outside stroke area fill in so that I know what part that I'm going to be cutting from my background for my block O. And I like that. Coming over here, clicking onto that, I am right clicking and I'm going to duplicate. So now I have two of these. I'll draw one over here and bring my original back here. Clicking on this, I'm going to shrink it so I can fit it inside my other O. And again, left clicking to move. And I definitely need to shrink it to make it fit better. Bring it to see inside a little bit. All right, so everything is dark gray. It's going to be the backing. And this light that is white right now is going to be my O shape that I can make it two sided or one sided. This part in here, I'm going to change this inner part 
to be a little bit of a, a darker color. Well, that's too dark. There we go, to show the difference. So I'm going to be cutting the dark gray with one piece of wood and then the lighter gray with another piece to have a contrasting type of wood. And this place will be blank in here. All right, I want to group all this together. So I'm going to left click, draw over the entire shape, come up here and group. And now this whole thing will move together. The next step is to add the hanger. So I'm going to go back to stars and polygons, click on that, left click and hold down for a hanger. And I'm going to come up here after I go back to the arrow to activate it and change the shape to up there. I like that one. That's pretty good. Bring it over here. A little on the crooked side, so I'll straighten it out a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. I'm going to add this to the rest of the shape. Make it all one by group, and there we have it. Now I realize there are a lot of different ways you can design on Inkscape. This is just how I do it. So I hope you give it a try and make some of your own designs. Thanks for watching.